Well, hello everyone, here with another LEGO Star Wars Summer 2023 review. Well, Summer Slash Fall wave of review. And this one's on the, the Yavin 4 Rebel Base, of course. So on the front of the kind of large box here, we have the LEGO Star Wars logos. And that same border that we have been seeing since winter 2022. Well, original trilogy-wise, but... But, and you do get picture of the whole set and everything going on in there and also all the minifigs included down below and age recommendation is 8 and up set number 75365 has 1066 pieces and onto the back side which have the back view of the rebel base of course and also a couple of shots of it along with and also a couple of functions of it, and another function of it over there, and Disney logo down below, and logos and set number again. And that is it with the box. Whoops. And now on to the instruction manuals, which you get actually one, two, three, six total manuals. So of course, just about kind of like the Avatar sets and also the uh, Bang Fire Tie Interceptor sets from earlier in the year where you can like split up the build along amongst other a few other people in the room or whatever. Like first build one of which is just for the mid-scale Y-Wing. Starting with how they're turning the paper bags build rack. And also a little thing with each of these manuals is does have a screenshot of the movie in there. And also add for the three mech sets. And that and also a highlighted section of where it goes to, but yeah. And then add for the other Mandalorian sets that are out now and recently really. Add for the trill for all three of the Clone Wars sets out now oh, for this year. Rebuild the world. Add. But on this one, a little variation, which is add for the online survey. And finally, all the pieces that come with the set. So like six total pages of that. Rebuild the world again. And there. Now onto the mini picks, which and for this one of which is doing something quite different, which is showing the bunch of mini figs in sections rather than all at once, since there's so many here. So first off we have uh, Luke Skywalker and Han Solo, well with the metal pieces there. And of course these variants which we have seen before in DK books, well, alongside that in DK books, but just, but with the metals printed on the torsos, but seeing it as an actual piece is great. But even though it may have been used before, but still great to see it here. But however, the torso printing for Luke Skywalker 
I would still great for that and looks great. And also does have the lightsaber piece as usual. Although the hair piece kind of repetitive that we've been seeing for the last few years. Although it would be nice if it were the uh, recent uh, new updated version like in the uh, Death Star Duel uh, display or a diorama set from earlier in the year, but whatever. But Han Solo, which printings of which all kind of similar to what we've had in recent years, but still again with the metal piece, but yeah. And then Princess Leia, of which would be a ceremonial dress and all, kind of like we've had in the 2018 Cloud City, but all of the hair piece to which kind of all new to this one. But however, or I mean, actually this is which from the 2021 uh, X-Wing set, but however, but if you didn't want to bother getting that X-Wing, well, this was a good way to get her, but yeah. The last of which is Chewbacca, which same as he's been, same from older sets, well, for around a whole decade, and also wielding the uh, crossbow, or the uh, laser crossbow, likely for blaster crossbow, yeah, which we've been seeing on him since 2015, and all the rest of which, same since 2014, of course. Then next to which have R2-D2, which headpiece of which, same as it's been for like a decade or a decade and a half by now, and front tor printing of which, same as it always. Then last to which, see 3 po of which the headpiece, same as it's been for decades, and the uh, torso piece of which, kind of similar to the version from the 2015 polybag for that, but without the red arm, and also silver like printing and everything else, which looks good, and also side arm printing, kind of like what we had in recent times. But however, it which on here looks great for that. And as for the back torso printing on each of them, which are to detail, which first time of him ever having that, which. Great, nice update to get for them. I hope they do so with other astromech droids in the future, but yeah. And as for the back uh, face printings for each of them, which, as you can see, all of which kind of similar to what we've had with the previous looks of them from recent years, but however, the back torso printing for Han and Leia still quite good for how it is, for how they are. And that's about it with the main heroes. Oh. And now on to additional pilots and crew members. Starting with uh, General Dodonna, same as from the 2021 X-Wing set. But however, but however, if you didn't want to uh, bother getting that X-Wing set, or didn't bother with that, for or just not repeated or whatever, then this is a good way to get him, of course. But however, the torso print like printing all looks good for that. And of course, wheel and of course has a little baton bar piece for that. And of course, hair piece, same as from that set as well. But who's but also who's all new for this uh, set is is Garvin Dry Garvin Dries, or otherwise Red Leader, and also uh, John Vandar. Yeah, John Vander, a uh, gold leader. But however, the whereas the torso printings all look the same, but they do look quite good. But also the same as previous uh, X-wing snowspeeder pilot outfits. But although the helmet piece of which, uh, same exact uh, X-wing pilot helmets for that they've been saving using for a while. But at least of which have one bolded in a uh, white. Uh, yellow and one in white again, but of course the, the printings on both of them look really good for how that is. The face printing is kind of similar to both, but yeah. And that's for the back torso printing on each of which. And also uh, double side faces, but however the two pilots of which, kind of the same for both of them. Although it would be nice if there was some variation for that, but yeah. That is it about it with this uh, 
selection. And now onto the third selection. First up, we would have a Rebel Fleet Trooper, which is kind of the same as it's been as they've been for a while. And of course, holding this binocular piece for a feature, which we'll I'll show later, and of course, holding a, a classic castle spear piece for that. And of course, the face print to which kind of similar to previous ones and helmet piece, same as it's been since like 2006 or seven. I'm not sure, but whatever. And the next of which have a rebel crew member, or, but except it is a female one, as you can tell by the face printing. And, and of course, holding a wrench piece for that. But however, but also the same helmet piece of which, but however, the uh, torso printing looks quite good for how it is. And then last of which we have R2 BHD. Yeah, astromech droid here. But however, kind of similar printing to most other astromech droids, but of course on a gray body piece and also a silver headpiece and legs, of course. And on the back side of which, not on the back torso printing like we just saw with the new R2D2 thing. And now we're for the uh, back face printing on both of the Rebel men. Which kind of kind of similar to that, but at least still has the chin strap kind of feature to that. Well, still good to see that, but yeah. And that is it with the mini things. First off, for extra accessories, is this tiles with cheese slopes in both like gray and red to obviously represent like uh, lighted pathways for the X wings and Y wings of course and also you get this little bit of foliage here which is just on a one large uh, green plate and also what that technic rod sticking out for it is for a bit I'll show in a bit a little later and of course the leaf pieces like we've seen from one of the diorama sets earlier in the year. And then next to which have this little uh, rebel cart here. Which does have a little leg kind of area uh, right in front here for your rebel crew member to stand on to and hold the joysticks around and maneuver around. But however, a good use, good amount of uh, olive green here. And also the jumper pieces in olive green, nice to use for mocking. Now for the back, the anchors can like lift this part up and just a large a yellow tile in there. And of course, a lot of empty space or open space to put uh, tools and blasters and so on in there. And of course, good symmetry for like the red lights on both sides and also not at all any like uh, uh, smooth tiles underneath although that would have made it extra wobbly on both sides but at least still fine as is and of course jumpers in which to like have uh, pilots uh, sit down on too but yeah and then next to which we have Okay, this mid scale X Y wing, which from first glance does have kind of similar look, looks to the 2016 Rogue One Y wing. Uh, well, as you can see, it does have the long, kind of quite long slope like pieces for to be nice angling to it and. Also does have a couple of ski hole ski pole pieces, but used as the uh, pretend blasters in the front. See, so kind of smooth look, but also those corner uh, plates of new types right in here. Okay, and as for this cockpit area, which has this kind of newish style uh, canopy piece that is kind of easily pop off. Connected to a few studs behind there, and of course enough room to fit a pilot into there. 
right. and also do get but also a little slope or jagged slope with a a tile showing the uh, virtual uh, Death Star trench, of course. So let me get a pilot, one of the pilots in there. And of course, fits in like so. And of course, you can lean them back like always and all the way kind of like, oh wait. I want to feel good in the right positioning and lean back like some of, of that. And then on top of it, have a couple of like little bar pieces that are representing the mini turret of it, like always. And then for this back side of which, which does have a couple little greebles on all the sides of which, and gold bar pieces and great, and that, and what those plates on there for is for putting your astronaut droid mini fig on to, of course. And as for the wing parts of which. Kind of nicely built, like with those interesting Technic bit pieces and also these odd bar pieces. Ending off with a couple more dish pieces, representing thrust and all. And also, nice use of these uh, smallish dome pieces is for the rock parts. And of course, do have a couple of these spring wheel launchers on there that shoot like so. Although, if you, and of course, as some say, is if you want to, you can like pop those off and just have it as for display purposes, of course. Although, nice to see some MIDI scale uh, sets that you can fit a fig into. Well, I hope we see some more of that in the future, but maybe that's just me, but yeah. And that was about it with that. And then next to which is this little tree. Which, well, from first glance, kind of built like most trees that we expect in LEGO with traditional curved brown pieces as in the usual wheat foliage piece and it's all standing on this large uh, corner rounded plate on there and like we saw in that other segment these little fern leaf pieces there and also another axle rod sticking out which I'll go over later and as for this upper part of which do have the lookout tower that the rebel trooper or can sit on or stand and sit onto or in this case stand onto since has two little studs on there although it would be nice if it was left just uh four studs to sit onto and also have this technic uh tube that you can that uh, like stand out as a railing of course and you can stand them on there like so that's for the back side, which and why it's quite vacant for that. And, and not sure why there's that extra technical piece there, but whatever. But however, for this back side, which with that little knob there, you can like extend it up and place it on that so it looks higher. And as for this lookout tower, which not sure why it's just that part on top of a tree, although it would be nice if it was an actual lookout tower. But maybe this whole tree segment is to represent the force that it's dwelling in, but whatever. And that's about it with the tree part of which. And now onto the uh, rebel base itself. Which, as you can see, well, just for this top part of it, from first glance, Looks almost like the uh, uh, 2019 Darth Vader's castle set, but in dark tan now. But however, this is, so as for this whole building itself, which is quite different, but at least a little bit better than that of the uh, cancel prototype version, which if you follow MNR Productions, did a video related to that, which made it actual one of that. So. This would, so this, and in general, which kind of will capture how it is, but yeah. Which for this little exterior front part of the witch. Which, oh, let me zoom up a bit.
which as you can see this large open area which is where you can just take the mid-size wiling and kind of slide in and out of and as for the other parts of which like as you can see just large slopes and also a few various jagged slopes for that and also these larger slopes with foliage pieces and recent leaf pieces is acting as like uh, moss and stuff but also these which can swivel in and outwards for some extra reachability and all and also other side which kind of the same stuff for that so this uh, which good perfect symmetry which of course or at least sort of is bit good symmetry well except for the foliage in some parts but yeah and of course do have a couple of sprinkle or I mean stud launchers on there and they can twist back and forth which the feature will all show later for that and this top part which which again resembling 2019 Darth Vader's castle set but at least has had some other tiles inwards but however the build of which of it does look quite good but also this set quite modular so you can look separated in two bits which as you can see does look quite good so the shaping of which also nicely angled in this direction and of course doesn't flop around quite easily but for the back side of which does have this little radar dish kind of bit that turns in and outwards but also kind of easily kind of easy to plop in and out but since of course it's on resting on two large brackets in here but also anyways as for the dish itself does have good use of those little pieces off to the sides and also it swivels quite well in there And as for this little section, it does have a few little stairways on there representing, and also all these leaf bits design representing the interior upper part of it. But also all this empty space, which is where you can place your metal wearing Han and Luke on there, representing the ceremonial ceremony at the end of the film. But yeah. But then as for the rest of it. For the interior space of which, of which still with this section on top of course or maybe just on the side to get some extra lighting on there. so like this center section which does have this little crate holding just nothing in it and also do you get this as you can kind of see a technic bar here and also a a tile with some interesting computer monitoring print on it and also a little uh, a tap kind of brick plate there for you to swivel it back and forth of course which nice well done feature and on this one side of which we have sort of another uh, tile with a sticker on it so plenty of stickers in this set of course and it, which leads down to this one tile here which does spin around and, and of course showing the like indications of getting close to the Death Star parts in both red and green yes. and further down has a little ladder that heads down to, into the hangar bag of course and oh also to mention this it's kind of semi-modular in some ways of course whereas for this little section here does have a couple of these two little uh, cabinets with a couple things in it. One of which with a little jar or something and the top part, a couple of few thermal detonators of course. And as for this one section in which is, as I mentioned earlier, what that technical is for is for the watchtower or the extra foliage bit or bit you can go right on to that. Oh, which like so. And 
is how they attach onto. Oh, also forgot to mention is that on both sides of this part do have a few clear panel pieces with these large clear stickers on them, which represent some other bits to it, of course. And now onto the other section, which I'll remove as well. With one side of which is kind of bit of just the large M rebellion symbol there, and also a, so another uh, one by two by two brick that has a large sticker on it, showing some uh, lighting parts of the Y wing and what section should be worked on, of course. And now little little ladder way that leads up to this upper section. And do and you get the council meeting area with a few sand blue uh, seats and also another uh, tile with a sticker on it representing a control panel on there and also probably a little a dispenser of blue milk or something and red coffee mug like we expect in most sets and also this large a large tile piece this oh, which showing how the on how to enter the Death Star and shots for the Death Star and so on. Although it would have been nice if we also had the Death Star plans a uh, tile piece like we see in some which we haven't seen any sets in a while. Although it would have been great if it were here but whatever. Although this top part of it kind of pops off nicely, sort of like most recent uh, Harry Potter Hogwarts castle sets kind of did. But yeah. In addition to the big technical pole there, is, which is where you can fit this tree foliage part onto, and it's all together as one. Oh, also forgot to mention is this little simple ladder piece with a few uh, panel kind of pieces on the sides and of course fits up sideways for you to enter the Y wing. Which just like so. So now, let me get this in. So now, on to the final verdict. So for my overall verdict, I think this is which great set. Although, despite it being quite a long, long time since we like first saw the original version of it in some books, but at least, but it is which out now, finally about time and also the uh, metal ceremonial scene great to see here and also great to have a uh, other another variant of han and luke but even outside the dk books and all but whereas for the midi scale y wing of which it's nice to see here something a little different to expect even though kind of reminiscent of the uh, mid scale slave one from the 2018 uh, uh cloud city set of course Although it kind of does seem kind of like a mid size scale down version of that, but at least in which it's still workable as a playset scale or playset range or whatever. But yeah, and also as for the large minifig selection of which, nice to see some updated updated ones for like Luke and uh, R two D two and three PO and C three PO of course. But yeah, and of course General Luadana in a different set. Also nice to see here. Although, as for the lookout tower, I think also could have been an actual lookout tower, but uh, maybe that could be a different set in the future. But yeah. 
outfit as is for the 1,066 pieces for 160 or 70 dollars. Well, uh, quite good for that, but yeah. But however, the playability, which really good for that, despite the modulability and so on. But also, the midi scale Y wing, nice and swooshable, but yeah. And so now, if you're looking to get this set for your original trilogy display and collection, definitely pick this up. And if you're sort of a completionist of the Star Wars sets, and also want to get the this which, and are looking to get this with it, regardless of seeing it, prototype pictures of it for quite so long. Also, truly pick this up. And if you're a true hardcore Lego Star Wars uh, collector or which, also definitely pick this up. And that is about it with this video. Uh, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And well, those are my thoughts. And I'd like to hear yours in the comments down below. And once again, uh, like, share, and subscribe. And thank you for watching.